Hey everyone, in the spirit of Graphic Stocks Creator to Creator Initiative, this is what I made with my Graphic Stock subscription. Right now, if you click on the link on the description, you get a seven day free trial on Graphic Stock, so you can check out all the cool images, vectors, graphics, and photos they have. They have all kinds of cool images there that you can download right now for free, so check them out. Um, this is one of the patterns I got from there. And pretty much I cut out these little squares and used them to decorate this paper lantern. So here are our materials. I bought this paper lantern at the dollar store. It's actually pretty good quality and it does a trick for something quick and decorative like we have today. Um, so basically we're going to assemble this. I printed out two sheets of the pattern that I enlarged a little bit more so I could make them bigger uh, to use for for decorating the lantern and then I enlarged it even more enlarged the pattern even more to make these big ones so I cut print them out I printed out two sheets of the big ones two sheets of the small ones um, it's you know you can I would actually suggest three just in case you need more or just to have them around and then I also have the glue sticks for the glue gun, low temperature glue gun, low temperature, uh, they sell multi-temperature glue sticks now. So let's get started. I'm going to push this thing through. You have these instructions with the lantern. So basically this gives it this, the, it extends the lamp for you. So here is the paper lantern assembled. It has a compartment for batteries on the bottom. You can choose to put batteries on it or not. And it has a little hanger on the top. So basically what I started doing is grabbing my bigger tiles, I'm gonna call them tiles, and gluing them to the top. You can glue all around, use some glue all around, and then I set it up on the very top edge, like this. And then I keep going all around, like so. You can overlap them a little bit if you just don't want to leave any it just like gaps on the top. And what I like to do is alternate like one over the other and one under the other so you get all this volume while you're placing them. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So now this one's gonna be on the bottom. And don't don't worry too much about the little strings that like from the glue because you can take care of those at the end. It's gonna get full of little string glue strings all around. So as long as you clean it up later on, you'll be okay. <laughs> this glue gun reminds me of a creaky door. <laughs> I love the variety of colors that this pattern has. I, it's really, I love patterns, like, I love how colorful they are, and Graphic Stock certainly has a lot of really colorful patterns. Another thing I love about Graphic Stock is, I don't know if you noticed, but we've been using really funny llama pictures, like, uh, you know, the animal, the llamas. Uh, we've been using them for our social media posts and like our cover photos and such and it's really funny. We usually get a lot of reaction from those. <laughs> They're really funny. And yeah, they have they also have a lot of really cool photos. So I recommend them you check them out. I mean, what do you gotta lose? It's a free trial. Free seven day trial. So what I'm going to do is going to continue this for a little while and speed it up. So it's in the 
these little holes here you see it over here this gap and on this gap that you want to use these small tiles so I'm gonna place one over here and you can choose to use the same color spectrum or a contrasting one so this one has similar colors to this and this one to these actually I think yeah, it's almost the same one so it's up to you it's up to you how you want to arrange them this is the way I'm arranging them and it really is a lot of fun like finding the little gaps and placing them where you want and this one's gonna go under to give it a little volume so you can place it under or on top or like overlapping them and this is how it looks isn't it cool? Yes, don't mind the little strings because I'm going to get rid of them. Isn't that awesome? I think it looks even cooler when you're up close because you, you lose a little bit of the volume when you see it from far out. So I cover some of the area just to give you an example of what it can, how you can do it. But isn't that awesome? It looks like super modern, super contemporary. It goes with all kinds of colors. So I hope you like this project. Here's the end result. So this is the end result. Of course, as you keep going, you'll get better at it and you'll make it look a little more different each time. And that's what's going to make each of them unique. Isn't it cool? Look how cool the volume looks over here. And this is because I alternate the overlapping. So, we hope that you like this tutorial. Thank you Graphic Stock for another awesome collaboration. We love this pattern. We love downloading images from your website. And please tell your friends about our channel. Subscribe, like this video, share it. Uh, please stay tuned to our knitting and crochet videos coming up every week. We're trying to upload more often. And we're trying to we're trying to reach a hundred thousand subscribers. So please, please tell your friends because we want to get that awesome pl uh, YouTube play button. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. Many hugs. Mm -hmm.